Hey guys, Brian here. Thank you so much for stopping by the show today. So hey, listen, I'm going to be talking about something really different than what I normally talk about. Um, usually I'm talking about real estate content, whether it be buying or selling a home, living in Mooresville, Catawba, Charlotte, anywhere, Troutman, like Norman, all of the great, great places around here. Or I'm talking about building my team and the benefits of EXP Realty. But today's show is going to be a little different. It's not going to be real estate related. What I'm going to be talking about today are flofers. Okay, now you might be asking yourself, what in the world are flofers? What is a flofer? Well, I'm going to get into that. See, flofers and I have partnered together and wanted to just give you some insight about their brand and what they do because these are some of the most comfortable, sweetest, creative shoes that I've ever been able to wear. And I wear them all the time. So they were kind enough to send me out a few more pairs. And I felt like it was my duty once they sent those out to me to give them an honest review, show you a little bit about the brand, tell you about the brand and why you need to get yourself a pair of these. Guys, they sent me a pair of these uh, a while back and then I got these three more pairs in just recently. And let me tell you, every single pair I wear is just as comfortable, comfortable as the other. So without further ado, let's get right in. All right, so let's get into this. So here is the Flofers website, okay? So Flofers are... Uh, a pair of shoes that are brand new to the world. Okay. They're, they've been around for, I think a few years, um, but they are, you know, still in the game of getting their name out there and doing great things. In fact, as I just realized a minute ago, they were actually on to the today's show um, with their featured collection here. So they are doing a great job of getting their name out, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory of them and who they are as well. So we're going to go here and go to our story. So it says Flippers is modernizing the modern molded footwear space with a collection of casual looks for men, women, kids that are fun, functional, and affordable. We And they've taken the iconic loafer silhouette and reinterpreted it into a lightweight foam that's easy to wear and be cared for, which I can attest to. So Available in a wide range of colors and novelty prints, you'll want to collect them all, which is actually really true. So these shoes are made with care. So these flow, floatable loafers, hence the name floafers, floatable loafers, um, are today's go-to shoes for a range of activities from day-to-day -day beach to a trek through the park. Easy to slip on and off, which they absolutely are. And they're the perfect dog walking and air running shoe. But flofers wearing occasions don't stop there. They're ideal, uh, they're ideal when heading to the office and school, addressing today's more relaxed lifestyles. Um, and so that's so true. I wear mine all the time when I go for showings, especially these new pair that I'm going to show you in, uh, in a little bit. So they are starting to make these way more fashionable um, and make the, they just look better than those Crocs. I know Crocs are a, a big deal. Um, and I don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking on Crocs. Uh, I have no problem with Crocs. My son wears a Croc. Um, my son also wears flofers. We have both of them for them. They're pretty much almost the same material, um, at least in my experience. However, the flofer is made a little bit softer, which we're going to go right here. So the fl um, the flofer is made out of an antimicrobial foam. Okay, so safety protects the shoes from odor and stain causing bacteria mold and mildew which is so true i've worn my uh country clubs my brown country clubs for a long time there's no smell or anything like that um and i think that's because of the ventilation here which keeps a lot of the shoes breathable okay so there's a utility hole right here and, and so it really um it's really able to keep a a good way to store your store your shoes whenever you need to store them um, we also have uh, a, a little support here and the 
business loafers that I use actually have a big support, and I'll show you those in a little bit. So these are scuff proof. I've worn my, you'll see my country clubs in a little bit, and they are absolutely um, still look like they're pretty much brand new. So let's go over here. I want to kind of show you uh, the men here. Um, some of the options that we have. And I'm going to go into a few pairs that are a little bit deeper here in a little bit um, with the ones I own myself. But loafers right now have about 34 products from men. Now, I will say all of the shoes are primarily look the same. It's really just different colors and styles. Um, so that is one thing that I would like to see loafers do in the future is create a little bit more of a different look to create different um, different styles. So you can see most of these are country club, country club, country club, country club, country club, country club. So all of these are country clubs except for um, we have, let's see here. The Country Club Aspect Asphalt. Um, so they're all actually Country Club now that I'm looking at this. So all the shoes are the same style, just different, uh, different variations of style and color, except for this executive tassel, uh, which is currently sold out. As you can see, it's only $17.49, which is awesome. Um, but really just different styles within the Country Club. Okay, so I would like to see flavors eventually expand to some different type styles um, versus just the different colored options. But so what you got here, you got the country of uh, driftwood, brown and coconut, which are the ones that I wear the most um, right now. Okay. And really, we just have different colors, like I said a minute ago, kind of the same thing. These ones right here look a little different. Um, you know, they have uh, I feel like they are a little bit slimmer. But as I look at them now, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, but we have this chairman bit right here, okay, which is going to give you a little bit of more of a fashion style. So whenever you wear a suit or whatever you're wearing, and like I said, this one has a little bit more of a heel to it, just like a fashion dress shoe would. And this actually gives you more support. Um, it actually took me a few minutes to get used to um, just because it's so different than this little dip right here is so different than the straight. But uh, here's another one of the chairman's. And then we have uh, this chairman, which is the one that I have and I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and so one thing that I really love is my wife's a swim coach. And so, um, you know, we have a, she's around lifeguards all the time. And I love that they highlight that and give this um, give this uh, lifeguard style shoe here. But uh, let's go here. These are the men. So let's go to the women's. So you can see the women's, they're called the posh drivers, okay? And it's pretty much the same thing as a um as the country clubs, but for women. So it's um it's so it's a little bit just a more feminine, um, you know, kind of gives you a little bit more of a light look, a lighter look, and some different styles, you know, like this one's not in the men's to my knowledge. Um, and so these are really cool. I love those ones, these are really cute. Um, and let's see what else we got here for the women's. You got this breast cancer awareness one, which I love. It's really cool. Also the lifeguarding ones got the stars. So, you know, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of different designs for the men, for the women as well. And then they also have for the children, which are super cute, guys. These are great for, you know, special occasions or just to wear around outside or whatever you want to use. We bought our boys, uh, I believe it was this one. Yeah, we bought them this one. This right here is a little bit more of a coconut. You can see kind of how it's a little lighter with a little bit of like some ridginess there, um, which is really nice and really cool. Um, but they have all the styles pretty much that the men and women have. Um, I love this one right here. This is really nice. Um, except for, you know, they're for your kids. And we have a two-year-old and an eight-year-old, and we have, they all fit just fine. And they're very comfortable. I love this one, too. Um Let's see what else we can get on here. Obviously, so you see they have a ton of children's brands. And really, the reason why they have so many more, I think, for the children's, because they're mixing boys and girls, because they have 50 products, right? So, guys, these are the Flofers um, website, and this is it's really easy to na navigate. So, you can get in here. Let's see. And uh, I'm going to go to the one that I really like, that I'm probably going to try to get this one. Um, and you can go in here, click it. 
You could choose their size right in here. And then you can either pay with Apple Pay or right here for the cart. So really cool. It's a really user-friendly website. So um, yeah, with that being said, and I've kind of given you a little bit of a back, uh, back uh, story of what the Flofers are. Um, and you can see they've been on to Today Show as well, have great products. You can see the kids here wearing the shoes. We are going to go into the actual review of the shoes that I have so that you guys can see them um, in real. All right, you guys, so the very first pair I want to show you is called the Driftwood Brown Coconut, and these are for men, okay? I've had these shoes uh, since last Easter of 2022, of Easter. I bought these. We bought the same pair for the family for Easter, and so I've had these for over a year now, and I wear them on average probably twice a week, depending on what I'm doing. And so I just want to show you guys, first of all, how long these have lasted and why these shoes right here are so uh, valuable, especially for the cost that you're getting. So these shoes right here are again are the Country Club Brown and Coconut, okay? So you can see right here, let's get it right here, let's get it clear. These right here, I've, all, I've worn these almost every single day uh, or at least two or three times a week. I mean, and you can see right here the bottoms. Um, I do play drums, and so as you can see how these, uh, the soles are a little bit smooth right here, but that's because where the, the pedal hits the drum, okay? But as you can see, these shoes right here look like they are in great condition. Sorry, I keep looking at this, uh, this uh, focus here. So as you can see, these shoes are absolutely stunning. Here are the holes that um, they were talking about to be able to, you know, store and hang util the utility hole for you to be able to uh, uh, store them. So there's one on this side, there's not one on this side, but there's on the other pair here, there's one on here, so you can store them and hang them as so, just like that. But I just wanted to show you guys how, you know, flexible these are. I mean, I'm not using too much strength in order to do this right here. It's just nice and easy. You can see how how soft they are, I guess. And so, if you can feel this right here, um, you know it really has a lot of resistance and cushion to be able to give you some um, really nice, comfortable walk. Now, I will say one thing. I will say um, is that the it, what what will take some time to get used to is the right here these little holes in the tongue of it sometimes i will take my shoes off and i'll have marks still from the shoes there um and so and i don't know if it's because maybe i got too small of a size or what but uh you know that kind of felt uncomfortable for a day or two just because it's such a different feel these massaging pod footbed right here as you can see you can see the dots that takes a little bit of time to get used to as well because it kind of can tickle a little bit. Um, and so, but once you get used to it, it's not a big deal at all. But you can see they have the, the Flofers brand name right here. Sorry. Right here. And so, but you can see when I fold this, look how, look how this folds up like that. And then it'll literally retract right back to its normal um, state. And it doesn't eventually mold or uh, like to a different um, to a different form. I mean, you could sit here and push it like this. It's just gonna reverberate right back to the actual uh, shoe. And so, like I said, guys, I've been wearing these for a while. And as you can see, there's no, there are no scuffs. There are, there's nothing there that's showing wear and tear at all maybe a little bit right here on the front um but i'm pretty sure that's probably just from uh 
just from walking or I don't know why I would walk on my toe, but uh, I'm not really sure why it's like that at the front, but it's nothing crazy. You don't really see it that much. And honestly, you never know. So guys, this is the country club. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I took off the focus on the video so that we don't have to deal with the focus issues like on the previous one. So this one is called the Chairman Black Asphalt. Now, I haven't had a chance to wear these yet um, just because I just got them in a few days ago and I just haven't really had a reason to wear the dress style shoe. But here are the Chairmans, okay? So as you can see, they are narrowed in the front, so they're not that kind of fat or wide front that uh, that's not really fashionable anymore. Um, it doesn't really look good in my opinion. Um, so I love the fact that these chairmans look like a nice slim to the tip uh, shoe. And so I've never worn these before. So we're gonna try a full test, just like I did on the other ones. So you can see here, look at that, right back. And you would never even know I ever even folded it. And see, this is what I'm saying guys, these shoes, they're so comfortable and so absorbing. Watch how light this is. Look at this. It's nice. Guys, whenever I put these shoes on, I don't have to do any work to put them on. I literally just slip my foot right in them, just like so, and then I'm ready to go. Okay? As you, as you can see, look how slim and nice that would look. I mean, I know this is my hand, but pretend this is your, like your ankle and your foot. You can see how nice and slim that is to your ankle. Okay? So I love the fact that they added this little, little... Um, Part right here i don't know what this is actually called um but let's see if they have it on here what it's actually called um no i don't see what it's actually called you know i you know, whatever it is it looks really cool it gives it that kind of dress vibe shoe look kind of just icing on the cake because if you can put it if you take this off this is going to look like every other country clock floofer but this little thing right here makes it look totally different and kind of gives your eyes a, a new catch to the shoe as you can tell but it, it, i try these all and it is taking me a bit to get used to the heel um but it is a dress shoe so it's, it's something that i knew i could obviously saw that it was going to happen on um on the on the shoe um, and so because I haven't worn these yet, the little massage pods inside of this thing, um, they're fully extended. And so I'm going to go ahead and assume that I'm probably going to have the itchiness for a day or two. Um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But I could definitely tell the texture there. Um, but like I said, this uh, goes away really fast once you're used to it. Um, but it's actually really useful because it keeps your feet actually from sweating too much. Plus all the ventilation and the air in these shoes um, continue to just let all the, the odor that you would normally have in a sock and uh, in a shoe, it just kind of just goes right out and evaporates. So it's super odor resistant. Um, it's easy to clean. In fact, the country clocks that I've showed you, I've never actually cleaned them. I've never had to. Um, and so, uh, but if you were to clean them, probably just use like a, a wet little washcloth or a rag and wipe it off because this is so resistant and so um, just kind of clean that it's probably just gonna clean right off. I mean, I would not recommend wearing these shoes, um, any of them in like a massive mud puddle or anything in that nature. Um, however, um, just because, you know, that's not what they're safe for. If you go into the mud, it's probably gonna go right through these holes and into your shoe. Um, so one thing I did forget to mention on the last shoes because I've only worn the country clock brown ones, um, the most i wore them to the beach recently and i was on the ocean everything worked great no problem with it um you do get a little bit of sand accumulated inside the shoe um, whenever you are walking on the ocean or if it's in the water just because it's natural the sand's going to get into these and get into your foot however the pro is that when you go to wash your foot off at like those cleaning stations it literally just like blasts the water and sand right out of the shoes so it's super easy to clean and it took me like 10 seconds to get all the sand out of the shoe and back on looking right back 
to normal. But guys, I'm really excited to wear this with like a suit, um, you know, uh, with like, a, you know, no socks, cut up suit on the ankles. It's gonna look really nice with that. And I'm um, also really excited about wearing these with like some khaki shorts and a polo. Um, and so to, uh, you know, an appointment or to an event or to dinner. So guys, check these out. These are the Chairman Bit Black Asphalt Men's. All right, you guys, so for the third pair, these ones were a stretch for me to want to buy. Not because I don't like floafers, because obviously I love them, but because these have a lot going on. Um, these are the Tulip Blue Men's Floafers and Bahama Llama, okay? So I'm not really one for like a lot of things happening on my clothes or shoes. Um, I'm pretty much like a, a solid color type guy. Uh, maybe uh, my button up shirts have a little bit of design on them every now and then, but I'm not really too much into like uh, a lot of flash or a lot of things going on. I'm pretty simple with my dress, but you know, I wanted to do something that I've never done before when a pair of shoes, and I figured, you know what, let me just give these guys a try. Um, these, obviously by the name, Tulip Blue, these are blue with tulips on them, okay? And as you can see, guys, now, whenever you broaden your mind from just like plain and simple to actual art in clothes, when you look at these, these are absolutely stunning. The artwork on these, these tulips look absolutely gorgeous. And you can see um, all through the shoe, there are design of tulips on this, right? The blue is absolutely beautiful. And I have not worn these at all either. So I want to do a bend test. And read how it comes back. Boom. I love that. So for me, this is a big deal because again, it comes with comfort. All the shoes are made the same, okay? So what you're gonna get with one shoe is gonna be what you're gonna get with all the shoes. So once you wear one pair of shoes and floafers, you're gonna know whether you like the brand or not like the brand and whether you wanna buy more or not. I would say again, just give it a couple of days, wear, these, wear your shoes two or three days to, before you make a decision because these do itch a little bit at first. Don't judge it by that. Um, right off the bat, give it some time to get used to it. Because once you get used to it and they break in on your foot, oh my word, guys, they're the most comfortable shoes ever. I just love slipping these on. But I want to talk about these ones specifically of why I chose these. Um, I chose these ones because I wanted to push myself into the fashion realm with a pair of shoes, for one. And I was just looking at all, all the shoes, and they're all beautiful. All the designs are beautiful. But I just thought that the this looked like a painting to me and i do love paint i do love art like that and so i was like you know what i feel like this shoe looks like it's been painted and so i was like let's try and go for it i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to wear with it yet um just because there's so much going on and i feel like if all my clothes that i own right now if i wear this with really much of anything it, this is going to like just pop but i'm going to figure it out and uh and i'll make sure that i will let you guys know or you will see what on my post what i wear these with um but i'm absolutely proud of these shoes i love these shoes really every shoe that i'm showing you is all the same really again it's just a different design so one thing i would love to see from flovers down the road in the in the next you know few years is to see some different styles of flovers coming out versus like pretty much the same country croc uh driver just different colors right and so you know i'd like to see maybe you know a higher top one um you know maybe something with uh less dressy or sport athletic shoes type style um you know i'd like to see well, i'm excited to see where they're going to go because i know that that's where they're going to go eventually um i think right now the the genuine style that they're making right now is just what they love and I love them too. So I'm on their side with that. Um, but like I said, I would love to see some different styles come out, not just different variations of design of the style that they have because we have the, we have this one, we have the country croc in men's and then we have the black that I just showed you, um, the other style, which is called, uh, forgive me here. It is called the 
uh, well, actually, it is a country club still. It's a country club chairman. The only other style, like I said earlier, that I see on their website is the um, the exclusive, the executive tassel. Um, besides that, every other shoe on the website is a country club. Okay, for men at least. Um, and that, like I said, that's for the men. So, I, you know, I would like to see them come out eventually with some different styles besides just the country club. But I chose this one right here, guys, because of the art. It looks like it's painted on here. And I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear with this. But, guys, I just wanted to show you this one because I want to show you that the, the designs they are coming out with out of the country club design are absolutely stunning. All right, you guys, so the last pair that I'm going to have and review today, this is the last pair they sent me, are the Country Club Blue Bright White Men, so the blue and the white. Um, I did wear these yesterday to the pool, so you can see where, uh, you know, there's already, they're starting to break in a little bit just on the designs here. The good thing about these shoes, guys, and all these shoes is they're pool friendly, meaning that these uh, little designs are not just there to look good, but they actually really do give great um, grip on wet ground. Um, you know, I never felt like I was going to slip or fall or anything in that nature. Um, and these was this was on day one of wearing these yesterday. So these shoes are absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite colors. Um, it's not my favorite color, but it's one of my favorite colors. Um, uh, I'm actually a, a Duke fan because they saved my life. Uh, from getting sick. If you haven't watched that already, uh, that story, you can go down to another video and watch the story of how uh, I experienced literal death. Um, and also, guys, I would really love to hear your thoughts. I haven't asked you so far yet. I'd like to hear your thoughts on uh, the Flover so far um, by what I've shown you. Or if you do own a pair, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Flovers and your experience so far. So please leave a comment below about what your thoughts are on these Flovers based on my review or your own experience. I would love to be able to hear your thoughts and concerns. Um, if you have any, but I do, I do love this color. Um, I grew up being a Carolina fan and to me, this reminds me of Carolina Tar Heels. Um, and so I am a Carolina guy. Um, however, I've you know, recently switched over to Duke since last year, since they saved my life. But, um, these shoes right here, again, Ben test comes right back. They're all the same. They're consistent within every single shoe guys. So hear me out on this. You get a country club. Okay, so that's what you're going to get on this. And so, you, as you see, I already I just noticed that I got that right there, right? So, um, just because, you know, you get these wear down, but I'm going to do a little spit clean and see how, how it gets. Oh, look at this. Boom. Okay, right off. And now, I know that's not like, wow, amazing. However, it just kind of gives you a little tiny example of how easy it is to keep these things clean here. Um, but, you know, you're going to get, if you're a guy, you're going to get the country club, okay? And you're going to love it. I know you're going to love it. If you don't love it, let me know why you don't love it um, on the on the uh, reviews down below or the comments down below. If you're a girl, you're probably going to get the posh drivers, okay? Same thing as the country clubs. It's just your posh drivers. And you guys got all kinds of styles as well. Um, you know, they look definitely more feminine. They're even a little bit more narrow than this however if you're a white foot person just like my wife you know these are great and absorb okay these are absorbed to your feet so if you have a white foot as you can see here this whole thing comes up comes and widens to your liking okay um now it will um it will come back when you take it off but that's the beautiful thing it's so exorbitant of who you are as a person and then we got the kids as well which i should have brought my kids flavors in here and shown you those um however i did not um, maybe i'll do a kid's shoe review on these as well if you if you want to see a child's shoe review um on the flippers leave a comment down below saying yes i want to see a child's shoe review on the flippers here but guys these are all of the flippers that i own right now so i own four pairs i'm in love with all of them like i said i've only worn two out of the four so far however the two that i've worn are amazing they fit great they don't stink or smell not that i'm a smelly person but they do they do keep yourself um they do keep airflow within the shoes so your feet don't really sweat that much which is really nice okay and so um i know that i'm gonna love the other two 
the dress shoe is going to take a little bit more time for me to get used to, I think, because of the heel. But I knew that going in, wanting to buy it. Plus, it's just like any other dress shoe that's really nice. They're going to have that little slight heel on there uh, versus all the other flippers that I have are flatter, right? So, hey, listen, thank you so, so, so much for um, watching this uh, ex uh, this review. And thank you so much for you know joining the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, guys, it would really make my day if you would like and comment on this post about what you uh, thought of the flippers and then subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell button so that you get consi uh, consistent uh, videos that I post up on a weekly basis. Hey, and if you don't mind as well, if you don't have anything else to do, go check out my other videos on the real estate topics at DXP and I'd love to see you then. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Have a good week. See you later.